Continuing coverage today of a resignation by the head of the General Services Administration. This follows a 41 Action News investigation where Martha Johnson was accused of an elaborate spending at a Nevada training conference in 2010. The GSA's Inspector General was about to issue a report on the potential misuse of funds when Johnson resigned. Johnson was asked about the misuse of funds in 2011 before the subcommittee, this is that meeting, on publicity campaign about illnesses and deaths at a GSA-controlled Bannister Federal Complex. Now, as you know, investigator Russ Potosik covered this extensively for 41 Action News. You may not know, he is now living and working in Washington, D.C., still covering the GSA. This is big news for this investigation you were on from the beginning. Hi, Russ. Hey, how are you? It was the front page of the Washington Post today. It has been on the national news. Uh, this is a story that is getting a lot of attention. And it, it's a new leg of a scandal. This coming out with the Inspector General report coming from the White House, essentially being leaked yesterday by the White House. Uh, the original uh, money problems, the excessive spending that she was accused of that we were investigating in Kansas City, was that quarter of a million dollar contract, a PR firm that the GSA hired to answer our investigation to all those illnesses at the Bannister Federal Complex. So that was scandal one with money, and that was our investigation into that hiring of that PR firm. Then scandal two, which came out yesterday as the Washington Post uncovered this Inspector General report as it was leaked from the White House. This is the final uh, problem that she's going to have at the GSA. She quit. All right, Russ, I know you've been following this, and it's been interesting to watch you cover the GSA here, and then now you're in D.C., and it's big news <laughs> there. What's the difference between covering this here in Kansas City and from your vantage point now in D.C.? Well, it's interesting. I, I, you know, sometimes I, I felt as though in Kansas City we would report on something and then everyone in Kansas City would go, oh my goodness, but you would not get any uh, fallout. You know, here we're reporting things and the people who are making decisions see our stories. Uh, you know, this is the Inspector General report, and I want you to take a look at one of these hotel rooms where these GSA officials stayed. This is a 2,400 square foot luxury resort at the M Resort, and it's two stories actually with multiple um, HD. TVs and oh. wet bars at this place. Um, this conference costing over $800,000, and they actually took a scouting trip. These folks went to Las Vegas to scout out where they were going to stay. The scouting trip they took cost more than $100,000 alone. So the obvious question on everyone's minds at home is, is this obvious overspending, especially when you're dealing with public dollars? Uh, the latest on your investigation, well, in Russ, fact, go ahead. It's, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm just agreeing with you. The GSA called this uh, lavish themselves. Uh, the Inspector General uh, saying that this is very improper. And in fact, the GSA in its response said, yes, uh, this was a mistake. In fact, the administrator, Martha Johnson, acknowledged it was a mistake, dismissing two of her number one uh, assistants and then resigning herself. And we saw the pictures, so people at home can make their own uh, assessment of that. But it's obvious that a lot of people believe exactly what this group believes. Thank you so much, Russ. It's good to see you. We kind of miss you around here. Oh, you bet. It's good to talk to you. <laughs> we'll Thank talk you. I to miss you, you later. Guys.